First, it was the ES6. Now it's the ET5. Put on your seat belts. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, The Wealthy Mindset. It's yours truly, Money Making Mitch. And as usual, guys, this is not financial advice. <clears throat> Please do your own due diligence and research. To set the stage for today's video, take a look at this little clip and then we shall continue. However, this is the new Neo. Well, it's not called a Neo, it's called a Firefly. Because Neo, in all their wisdom, decided they needed three different brands. Firefly is e Neo's new budget EV brand. I've got to say, the looks are, for me, particularly polarizing. Guys, I'm I'm curious to know how you feel. Did they, you know, do you think they want this a real winner with the style in this car? Or do you think it looks a bit odd? I think it's a bit odd. Here are the details behind. They have reduced the price significantly. And now I think it's actually pretty good. Hello, my friends. What All right, guys, welcome back. Just like Money Making Mitch has said from the very beginning, it is happening. First, it was the Popovosian that said, I will not touch it. Now he says it's a hold. <laughs> the albino now is twisting his tongue in his mouth, just like I said he would have to because the Firefly is going to sell and it's already selling like hot bread. And this company is going to become a behemoth. The stock price is not reflecting even the infrastructure side of the business because it's a game that Wall Street plays. As they drag it down, BlackRock just bought one point something million shares yet again. Yes, you heard that right. In Neo, the most luxurious EV company, technologically advanced EV company in China. And whilst all this is happening, we understand that the ES6 is in stores in China already getting ready to be released. Well, what else is happening to cause BlackRock to do what they did? What else is happening for the albino to twist his tongue in his mouth? What else is happening for the Pupavosian to twist his tongue in his mouth? He said he has a book. I know what I'll do with the book. I'll wipe my, well, you know what? Well, Neo has revealed a 2025 ET5 sedan. Boom! Introducing design changes, hardware upgrades, and cabin revisions as part of a broader effort to keep the model competitive in China's EV market. The updated version maintains the existing platform but, but incorporates adjustment to improve functionality and user experience. But wait till you hear the improvements. Wait till you hear the improvements. The front of the sedan features redesigned daytime running lights. Okay, that's nice. In a new parallelogram shape, replacing the earlier boomerang style units. The headlights now uses LED matrix technology with a sharper trapezoidal outline. Okay, that's also nice. The bumper has also been reshaped with larger air inlets contributing to minor aer aerodynamic gains. That's also nice. Key structural elements like the panoramic glass roof, frameless doors and flush door handles remain unchanged. Well, what upgrades are you talking about, Money Making Mitch? At the rear, a minor lip spoiler has been added above the light bar tail light. <clears throat> a significant change, mm -hmm, this is where it gets yummy. A significant change comes from the autonomous driving hardware. While the LiDAR sensor and cameras retain their placement, they now operate with Neo's in-house guard chip. Boom! And we knew it was coming. Profitability will be sudden and massive with improved margins, which is based on five nanometer architecture. No more Nvidia. Bye-bye, Henson Duang. The new processor is designed to improve data processing speed and increase the accuracy of automated driving functions. Mm-hmm. The interior details of the new ET5 have not yet been revealed. However, NEO has previously confirmed that the, two, the 2025 ET5, ET5 Touring EC6, ES6 models will also adopt the same horizontal screen. And we saw that with the ES6 that they've been getting ready to release. It says, as the flagship ET9 sedan, the same as the flagship ET9 sedan. These models will also feature Neo's self-developed chips, self-developed chips, chips plural, 
and be equipped with the full capacity version of the Skyos vehicle wide operating system. Boom! And this is what I was excited about. I wanted to hear that. I wanted to hear that, guys. Skyos operating system. We don't have to buy Linux. Our partnerships will be buying the Skyos systems from us in order to use our battery swap station so it can back the car in automatically and they can leave with less than three minutes. <clears throat> Huge revenue is coming. So whilst the negative Nancy's, the shorts pretend not to know, Wall Street pretended not to know, where is the revenue gonna come from? It's not enough, enough deliveries. <laughs> whilst we have our delivered Mercedes, uh, Porsche, BMW and Audi combined in that price segment. We're going to do it again this year. And the sub brands is coming to steal their lunch. The in-car AI assistant Nomi, yes, the same Nomi that they used to laugh at, has been revised to support more advanced voice interaction. And I suspect this is because of Quen 2.5. The center console has been restructured, offering two wireless charging pads, which is what the Chinese are demanding and additional storage compartments, which is what the Chinese are demanding. Minor layout changes aim to improve usability during daily operation. Mechanically, it still has the 75 kilowatt and 100 kilowatt hour battery pack, guys, that goes 710 kilometers under the CLTC range, but both four versions now support the 180 kilowatt hour fast charging and are compatible with NEO's battery swap stations. Boom! We knew this is going to be our year. We knew that this is the year we start soaring. Just patience, that's all that's needed. I hope you guys found this video yet again to be informational, inspirational, and motivational. If so, guys, blah, blah, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Takes a lot of time to do these videos and the editing. And if you haven't yet subscribed, you might want to think about doing so because in this channel, we are waking up the middle class for the first time to get a major piece of the pie from the ground level up as to how the game is played on Wall Street and like 57 we get rich or we die trying, guys.